Uh, let's take one more call if we can. Time's running short. Thanks for that, Satinda. OK, next up we've got Natasha from Manchester on line one. Morning, Natasha. What do you think? Um, I think that she should um, stay with the rules. You know, um, stick to the rules. OK. Because um, I don't think that she should um, have her individual needs met if everybody else has to do that role. Equally, you could say that if the school had just turned a blind eye, we wouldn't have this discussion. As Shobna said, we've got through decades and decades of, of, of cultural, religious... How old do you think I am? <laughs> well, no, no, I'm not... <laughs> oh, no. Not as old as me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> not as old as me. But we've had so many years with, with these things not being a problem. And I, I literally, I've lost count of how many discussions we've had now on, on religious artefacts. Do you not think that, that common oh. sense would have said turn a blind eye, Natasha? Oh, Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Yeah, do you think common sense uh, would have said that perhaps the school would have been better just sort of turning a blind eye? No. Yes. No, yes. OK, well, we'll take that as undecided yeah. sitting on the fence, <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> Thank you very much for your cause. It's a great point, though, Sean. A great point that this is a, a very new phenomenon and uh, and slightly worrying one. I have it to say. It is worrying when everybody wants to highlight difference, whatever side you are on. You want to highlight difference. Yes. And in a world where it's increasingly getting smaller, globalisation is bringing us close and closer is together. Is that why, though, that we then want to make our individuality and our belief stand out? Maybe. Perhaps. OK, we'll leave that one floating in the air. Thank you very much for all your calls. Sorry we didn't get through anything but a fraction of them. I do apologise.